One of the problems that we have when we teach young wind players is getting them to breathe. So when we teach junior high kids or elementary school kids, we teach them to breathe rhythmically, which means we count in maybe one, two, three, breathe on four, and play on the downbeat. And at slower tempo tunes, or tunes that we're playing for beginners, like lightly row or something like that, works very well. One, two, three, breathe, play. The problem we run into is as these students get more advanced and the music gets more complicated and syncopated, when they try to breathe rhythmically on a fast tune, for example, an entrance on the and of one, they don't have time to set their, their embouchure, and they don't get a good sound, and the hit-miss ratio goes way down. So what I try to do with all of my young students and at clinics is teach them to breathe not rhythmically. In other words, try to take a long, slow breath to give your body a chance to expand and get your lungs a chance to expand so that you get a better hit on the note. So I use a three-step process, breathe, set, and play. When you first start doing this, set a metronome at a, at a reasonably slow tempo, somewhere around 72, so that the student breathes on beat one, two, three, sets on beat four, and plays on beat one. So you're going... That way, they get a much longer time to set their chops and to set their embouchure, and they get a much better sound, and everything works out better. The syncopations come in much better. So try this in your next practice session or with your next private student and see how it works. I think it'll work very, very well, and you have a lot of success.